you know, I have this very basic first principles algorithm that I run kind of as like a mantra, which is to first question the requirements, make the requirements less dumb. And um, no matter how smart the person is who gave you those requirements, they're still dumb to some degree. You have to start there because otherwise uh, you could get the perfect answer to the wrong question. So try to make the question the least wrong possible. That's what questioning the requirements means. And then the second thing is try to delete the, whatever the step is, the, the part or the process step. And if, if you're not forced to put back at least 10% of what you delete, you're not deleting enough. Somewhat illogically, people often feel as though they've succeeded if they've not been forced to put things back in. But actually they haven't because they've been overly conservative and, and left things in there that shouldn't be. And only the third thing is try to optimize it or simplify it. In fact, I'd say the, the most common mistake of smart engineers is to optimize a thing that should not exist. Right. And there's like a step four as well, which is um, any given thing can be sped up. <laughs> However fast you think it can be done, like whatever the speed the, the speed is being done, it can be done faster. Mm -hmm. But but you shouldn't speed things up until it's off, until you've tried to delete it and optimize it. Otherwise, you're speeding up that something that speeding up something that shouldn't exist is absurd. Um, and then and then the, the the fifth thing is to to automate it. Yeah. And I've gone backwards so many times where I've automated something, <laughs> sped it up, simplified it, and then deleted it. And I got tired of <laughs> doing that. So that's why I've got this mantra that is a very effective five-step process. It works great.